हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन दिस पार्ट इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस पार्ट इज द बॉडी ऑफ ब्लो अप वॉल दिस पार्ट इज बिट कॉम्प्लेक्स वी हैव द ड्राइंग ओपन नाउ इफ यू सी द सेक्शन व्यू इट लुक्स लाइक दिस दिस इज द फ्रंट सेक्शन व्यू Now, if you go for top section, it looks like this. And if you go for right section, it looks like this. now if you see the drawing this drawing looks a bit complex but don't worry i will make it very simple so if you see this drawing view this is the front section view so this is the first feature which is a revolve feature which is very simple now the second feature is a blend feature which is the only complex thing here now the same feature if you see from the top it looks like this and if you see from the right it looks like this so to create this revolve feature if you draw this half section and revolve it you will get the result but to create the blend feature you have three sections here so this section is placed somewhere here this is having four segment circle then line then again circle and then line so this section will come somewhere here then here you have a circle and the same circle you have here so if you blend these three sections together you will get the result so let's design this part and understand it and for that first you go to new part solid assign the name uncheck use default template and say okay now from here you select a proper part template so i'll go with this template this is a metric template and i'll say okay now i'll start this part with this revolve feature so for this i'll go to revolve onto the front datum plane normal switch off all the datums now since it is a revolve feature first you place a datum center line somewhere here then draw the first entity so i'll start with a line so this is this line so this dia is dia 132 and then this depth is 56 Now draw the rough sketch. So your rough sketch will be something like this. Delete all equal constant. Now assign the dimension. So this value is fifteen. Then this value, this is sixty. Then you have this angle. this is 10 degree then you draw a line somewhere here let it be parallel you make these two line parallel if you are not getting this constant then you make this line a construction line add a dimension from here till here this gap is 6 and then you have this dimension which is dia 77 so start with this center line with this point and again center line place the dimension this is dia 77 and your sketch is done now just say okay and okay so the first feature was very simple now the second feature which is a blend feature so the first section is coming somewhere here which is this one 
So I'll start with this section. So first I will draw the sketch. So I'll start with the right datum plane. I'll say sketch normal. Now here you need to draw this section which is into four segment. So first add to center line. One is here, another one is here and then add a circle. Now this circle is dia 56. Then place a line somewhere here, a cross line. Mirror this line with this reference and then trim the unwanted segment. Now this section is having four segment, you see. Now assign the dimension. So the angle between this line and this line is 10 degree. Then you have this dimension 32. And for this first you place a sketch point here, somewhere here and here. And then go for dimension and place the dimension. So this gap is 32. Your sketch is done. Now you go for offset. Select loop and select the sketch. The gap is again 6. Close it. Now assign the gap dimension. So from here till here, this is 6. And then from here till here, this is also 6. Once you have done, just say OK. So the first sketch is done. Now the second sketch which is coming somewhere here and this gap is 90 minus 25. So I will go for sketch. I will create a datum plane inside the sketch. The right datum plane. I will move it to this side. This value is 90 minus 25. Say OK. Sketch normal. Click model. Now the second sketch is just a circle. So draw two circles like this. This circle is dia 50. And then you have 6 mm gap. Now here you place two center lines. One is like this and another one is normal to that. This angle you take 45 degree. And then you divide these circles into four segment because your first section is into four segment. So go to divide, select here, here, here and here. Same way you click here, here, here and here. Now the sketch is done, say OK. Then the last sketch which is coming somewhere here. So once again go to sketch, again a datum plane, from the right datum plane, this side this will be 90, say ok, sketch, normal. Again draw the same circle, one circle here, another one is here. This is dia 50 and then you have a gap of 6. Place a center line just like this, make it normal. This angle you make it 45 degree and then go for divide. Divide the circle into four segment. And the sketch is done, now just say OK. So now using these three sections, I will create the blend. So to create the blend, go inside the shapes, blend. Now go to sections 
and here you have two options sketch section and selected section. So, if you have already created a section then go for selected section. Now, here you have two sections inner section and outer section. So, I have created both the section together. So, go with the outer section. Remember your start point. Go to insert. Select the next outer section. You drag the start point this side. Once again go to insert. Select the third outer section. Drag the start point this side. Now once this is done, go to options and make it straight and say OK. So the blend feature is done. Now this feature, I will simply mirror it with right datum plane and say OK. Now I will go with this flange and this flange. So I will go to extrude, I will select this face, normal. Now to reorient this, go to sketch setup. And select this datum plane and say sketch. Now draw a circle under here. Now the die of this circle is 125. Now just say OK. Now this thickness is 10. Flip the direction and say OK. Now mirror this feature again with right datum plane and say OK. So the add material features are done. Now I'll go with remove material feature. So first I will create this revolve cut and for this once again go to revolve onto the front datum plane normal place a datum center line somewhere here then draw the rough sketch start like this go like this like this and like this now this dimension this is 10 this is dash 77 and then you have this line parallel with this edge. So your sketch is done, now just say OK and say OK. Now the next feature is a blend cut. So go to shapes, blend, sections, selected sections. And this time you select the inner section. So move your cursor here. Remember your start point. Go for insert. And then you select the second inner section. Move your start point here. Then once again insert. And this time you select this section. Drag the start point here. Again go to options, make it straight, remove material and say OK. Now mirror this feature with right datum plane and say OK. Now if you go to view, sections and select the front datum. Say OK. Now you have front section like this. And if you go for top section, you have your section like this. So here it is going cross, just like this. Now once this is done, you can hide these sketches. Now the next thing is applying these holes. So go to hole, select this face, switch on your datums, 
Now this hole is the standard hole M10 on piece circle dia. So this is a diameter position. So change it to diameter and then for diameter position drag one handle to the center axis and another handle to this datum point. Now this angle is 45 degree and PCD is 110. Now the hole is a standard hole. So change it to standard and select M10. Depth, you make it to next and say OK. So hole is created. Now go for pattern, axis pattern. Select the center axis. Make it 360 degree, 4 item and say OK. Similarly, you have 4 holes this side. This is dia 18 on PCD 90. So once again go for hole. Select this face. Again go for placement. This is also diameter placement. So drag one handle to this center axis and another handle to this datum plane. So this angle is 45 degree and this is 90. Now this is a simple hole with a dia 18. Depth again you set 2 next. Say OK. Go for pattern. Go for axis pattern. Select the center axis. Make it 360 degree and say OK. Now the same hole you can mirror it or you can recreate. So I prefer recreating the holes. So what I will do is I will just copy this pattern, control C and then I will paste it. So I will select this center axis. I will say OK. Then I will just select this face. I will go to placement. I will make it diameter. I will drag this handle to this axis and this handle to this datum plane. Here I will make it 90 and this I will make it 45. And I will just say OK. So I have recreated all the holes. Now once holes are done, the last feature is couple of rounds. So go with round. Select this edge, this one, this one, this one, then this side, and then this one. This is radius 4. Say OK. One more time round. This time I am selecting this bottom edge. This is radius 10. Say OK. And then the last round, which is radius 6. This edge and this edge. Make it 6 and say OK. And your part is done. Now you can practice this part to improve your skill and you can join my channel to support the channel. So that's it from this video. So this was the body of blow up wall in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.